That's louder, isn't it? You know, I, 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 I likened the boss explosion in the previous game we played to Mega Man X. Uh, that was a very Mega Man X-esque intro. A little bit. Um, okay. Do I keep music if I come out here? Yes, I do. Uh, I opened the store page in a browser this time, a separate browser, so that I can actually zoom in on it, so that hopefully it's a little more readable. Uh, but so, this is Falconet. What is Falconet? Um... Well, the premise is, rogue machines have invaded. An army of intelligent machines have gone rogue in post-war cities. Your highly skilled three-man team has been commissioned to pilot the Falconet, an advanced weapons entity, to rescue the humans trapped behind enemy lines. On your team, you have Bangs the Engineer, Spike the Navigator, and Flo the Pilot of the Falconet, who also happens to be extremely excited about car insurance. Uh, no. Anyway. Um, wait, no. Car insurance? Homeowner's insurance. Bike insurance. No. Whatever. Uh, you will need to shoot your way through each retro-style level to eliminate enemies before they eliminate you. Use weapons in combos. Rapidly switch between your diverse arsenal of weapons with unlimited ammo to annihilate uh, enemies in satisfying combos. Progress by solving puzzles. You gain access to restricted areas in each level using the Falconet's six different color-coded weapons and your problem-solving skills to take out enemies and generators. Rescue human survivors. Search out survivors in captured areas and bring back hope to the humans you liberate. Rack up high scores. Beat the records you set as you improve in your gun-wielding skills. You can see they have, like, water reflections there. Like, you just, you see the sky in the water. Um, alright, so that's basically it there. I think our music just ran out, too, so let me, uh, where is the game? The game is down here. Uh... Hello? Game? I think, I think the game gave up. I guess we'll restart the game. Not sure what happened. I wasn't looking at it, so... I thought I heard, like, the, the logo thing again. So I thought it was, like, restarting, but... Uh, I don't know. Or not the logo thing, but the, the F coming in. Anyway. Uh... So... They immediately tell you how to switch weapons. So you got Beam, Blaster, Railgun, Torpedo, <clears throat> and then Spreader and Mortar on combinations, and then Super Attacks when the energy meter is full. Uh, suddenly this feels very, um... Radiant Silver Gun? Lots of weapon combinations? It's playing music on top of other music. It's very buggy right now. Like, the title music came in super late. And it's still playing. Yeah, it's still playing two things at once. Hang on. Wait, what is playing? Oh, this started playing. Why did that start playing? I specifically didn't have that open. Like, I don't know why it started playing the frickin' trailer here automatically. This browser should not even allow that. Alright, let's just close that completely, and then we'll go back in here, and actually start the game. Okay. Very short intro. Abandoned Abode. Okay, so this is actually a twin-stick shooter. It's a twin-stick shooter that you use the, the analog sticks for, but you can only shoot in eight directions. Yeah, I, I thought Steam normally just cycled the images if you weren't already focused on a trailer, on a video. All six weapons ready, try switching to them with the shoulder triggers. Alrighty. Yeah, so you can see in the top left. Oh, that's a big boom. Okay. When energy is full, press both right triggers for a barrage of torpedoes. And right triggers for plasma. No, one of those is supposed to say left triggers. Bot sighted. 
turtles. You can't take cover from yellow... Pl you can take cover from yellow plasma, but blue goes through anything. Is there a generator nearby, Spike? Stand by. I'm not sure why these are called torpedo. They don't, like, home in or anything. Oh, that has a really big area of effect, though. But it has a pretty short, uh, or rather, a pretty low firing rate. See, my shots can't go through there, although, let's try the other stuff. Oh, ow. Yeah, that didn't go through anything. Okay, the beam can go through things. It still feels weird that I'm confined to eight directions, but I use the analog sticks. But yeah, it's surprising, given what they said about, like, blue shots... Oh, that's a green shot. All right. Yeah, so beam is immediately, like, the winning play. All right, so we can't really go over water. We can go over, like, the shoreline. I suppose I should try my super weapons at some point. are kind of beefy. I have no idea. Was that health? That might have been health. Why are you writing about that? I mean, that is surprising, though, because I thought they used to behave better in terms of that on Steam store pages. Oh, okay. Apparently that fence is just optional. Uh, I should probably... Found the... <laughs> Found them. Also, everything exploded. I like how I timed that by complete accident. Blow them to smithereens. I mean, I'm... I, I, I think I'm kind of working on it. Also, wait, they spelled flow with a W here, but in the Steam store page, it doesn't have a W. Alright, well, I got one of them, apparently. There we go. Was that, was that it? That, that was, that was, uh, mission successful. There should be an invasive base around, an invasive base somewhere around here? Wait, how do bases, how are bases invasive? They literally can't move. I guess, I guess they mean, like, forward base, offensive base. Okay, one of those was blue. I think that was energy. It made a different sound when I picked it up, too. It's it's a little bit weird that the, the water is sky. I get what they were going for, but it's a little disorienting. I'm detecting a lot of turrets and jellyfishes. Are jellyfish... Oh, yeah, see, he pluralizes it correctly. Uh, are jellyfish the other things, or... Wait, what is that thing up there? Uh, a turret and jellyfish are je deathly accurate. Oh, no, he wasn't pluralizing. That's how he got away with that. And, yeah, our guy just said jellyfish? All right, well, that looks like a turret, I guess. We're actually Sebastian Christ from Rise of the Triad. Uh, wait, can I get him with the laser? I totally can. Beam does not give a shit about, uh, elevation levels. And also, those things are, like, paper thin. So, what was the other thing here? Railgun? I haven't really had a need for the railgun yet. I guess they kind of look like a jellyfish. Okay, so that can pierce, but I mean, so can the beam, right? Also, you can totally, like, railgun and then switch to another weapon. So, like, that's probably the actual winning play.
Because the thing is, with the railgun, you don't have anything to help you line it up, really. So, like, you can use the beam to line up the railgun. Except the railgun can't pierce things like beam can. I just ran right into that. We have a pretty beefy health bar, though. Also, my energy's full again. I should try the other super attack. Because I think I tried the right bumper trigger super attack before. Which, like, I guess they intend for you to use, like, your, your two fingers for that, but I just kind of, like, bridged the one finger across. Where is everybody? This force field's generator is nearby. Use the blaster or torpedo. That's a lot of turtles. I see, so it makes it sound like you can't hit it with that. Wait, those are turtles? Do they mean turrets? They said turrets earlier. Or no, they mean these things, probably. I just used that again, but it wasn't very effective this time. Oh, I didn't line that up. Can I? Oh, I can actually go up. Oh, health. I got it right before it would have... I hate beachside industrialization. That sure is a sentence. Interesting how that also damaged it, but it didn't, like, blink. Area cleared. Ready. Go. Well, this looks ominous. Scanners detect a lot of movement. Field generator at the end of the corridor. Well, we found the fields. Oh, we got new kinds of bullets going on here. I don't know who's shooting them. Oh, it's those guys, okay. So, I'm gonna assume, yeah. Did that, that deactivated something here, I think. Penetrate that force field generated by matching the frequency? A weapon in the green spectrum should do that. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I, I assume we're matching the color is what they mean. Ow. Oh, I can't go through that, though. I have to go around. That's gonna disappear. It disappeared. God damn it. I forgot I can go over this. Like, this looks like a hole to me, but I can go over it. So I went the long way for no reason. If you're colorblind, then uh, this game is probably not going to be uh, a good time. It's a great spot to really try out the mortar and spreader. Oh yeah, I haven't tried the combo things at all. Very good for corners. Okay, so that just bounces all over the darn place. Okay, yeah, you can kind of cheat around corners with this, but, like, I also have a laser that just goes through everything. Incoming devil rays? Oh, shoot. Okay, well, they're dead. So, yeah, actually, the mortar, in addition to bouncing, the mortar is kind of like a faster fire rate torpedo, so, like, seems good. Okay, so that actually is a hole. What are those things? I don't know, but I don't think I can hurt them now. They 
seem entirely impervious to everything. That was not what the, that's not the way I wanted to aim that. Also, I suppose we don't have any kind of uh, map or anything either. Map seems like it might be useful. I just got two KOs at once there because of the beam. Just piercing everything. I suppose you can cheat around corners with a mortar, too, just because it's so freaking such a big area of effect. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Okay. Uh, it's probably screen tearing, which this doesn't have any options to do anything about that. I was noticing a bit of screen tearing earlier. But yeah, I don't think there's like any options in this game whatsoever, in this demo at least. Can I destroy those? No. Am I looking for something I can destroy? Oh, right, because it's beam. I would actually avoid picking that up when you're full, but it's still gonna run out anyway. This is starting to feel like Chip's Challenge or something. Alright, where is the green one? like all around the outskirts, but maybe that's not where I should be looking. It's interesting how, like, I got stuck on the beam here. Like, I can't move left. The beam is actually more chunk than the things projecting the beam. Oh, I can go here. I still think this doesn't look like ground. So green only. Do I have to hit that diagonally or something? Oh, one missed. The railgun is kind of infuriating. Yeah, so what's the deal with that? Or am I not even supposed to do anything with it? Oh, I can shoot at that one. Uh, if, if... Oh, no, I can't shoot at that one, never mind. Did I already shoot it and that's why it's not seeming to do anything? Yeah, okay, I did. I just didn't even realize I broke it. Lot of damage. Okay, we got some health back. I can see the generator from here. Fester's quest suit. No, this doesn't involve mashing. Or uh, first person 3D mazes. Uh, okay, wait. Where did they see the generator, though? 
They said they could see it from here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, right, and so this is the bounce weapon. Uh, not that one, this one. And then the other one might be spreader. This is way better weapons. I don't know about that. But... Oh. There are more of them that decided to not be incoming. Uh, okay, so... That's actually just Blaster, isn't it? It made the destruction sound. And it stops animating, I guess, once it's destroyed. But yeah, Blaster is orange. Spreader would have to be yellow. That's a lot of bullets. Right oh god, I'm running into everything. Oh, there was one right there, too, that I was ignoring. Can I hit you from here? I can totally hit you from here. Get out of here. Just barely off screen. The explosions are decent. Very raptor esque. those are always our objective. Oh, that's that's the demo. Okay. Press start or enter to play again, or escape to exit. Yeah, because if, if you hit escape, it closes the game entirely. Oh, it just restarts the last level. It doesn't even... It doesn't even start the whole thing over. It starts the last level over. Um, but yeah, let me restart it again, just to make sure there wasn't any options menu or anything. It's a very short demo. It's not bad. I feel like when I first launched this earlier off stream to make sure it would run okay, I I felt a little disappointed by the mechanics. Like I was I was hoping that if it was twin stick it would actually control with like a twin stick in terms of like being able to aim anywhere. Um it kind of works out the way it is. Um but yeah, there's there's no options at all. You just get you you get the uh the graphics telling you what the controls are, and that's it. I don't know. Oh, you can actually use. You can. Ass you can. You can allegedly use keyboard for this, but I don't know what the controls would be. I don't know how you would like switch. Oh, that's one of the weapon switches. Whoa! What was that? That was the other ultimate that I never used. Okay, one, three. 1, 3, Q, E, switch those. Those are your... You're gonna you're gonna end up with, like, ghosting issues, potentially. So you can use keyboard for it. Uh, it's not documented at all. 